Cause I dream of you, I pray for you I'm grateful for your presence I do not understand But I feel like I'm in heaven Because you, because you Baby, you You are my heaven on earth Because I dream of you I pray for you, I'm grateful for your presence What's up, Double J Squad? What's up, Double J Squad? This is my This video will be my coming out story about how I came out as bisexual I'm not gay no I fully I can't fully do girls but every now and again it be in the mix but you know I got a boyfriend so right now they I got a boyfriend I got a man I'm married y'all y'all no cap Okay, I'm not married yet. In order for me to get married, I'm gonna need some years, baby. I mean, me and my boyfriend got years, but it's not like we've been together years. It's like we was messing around years. We didn't really mess around for a full year, knowing each other for years. So, y'all, this is the only like. Now I tried to use all those other ones, like, like that one, it's called Vitalub, um, I got the coconut, the rose sip one, and the other one, mint, but I can't do the rose sip one, I really only use the coconut one, so, I use this one, I use NK, if y'all can see it, NK, and this is rose sip y'all it works so much much better in my opinion than the other one i y'all i had that one lip gloss that everybody had you know i was so mad it cost me two dollars and i left it in the school bathroom and once i realized i left it in the bathroom it was a little too late so the story of my life yeah anyways you know you know track What's up, Double J Squad? How y'all been? And talk to me in the comments below. I know y'all miss me. I miss y'all. I've been up with school. And I got some tea, but that's gonna wait till the next video. Because the next video, I will finally be able to tell y'all the news that I've been waiting to tell y'all. Okay? So, without further ado, let's get into this coming out story. Peace. Okay, y'all. I know y'all ready for this story. I know y'all are. So, first off, let me tell you, I um, was in this story, I was in 8th grade, so around 14, 14 years old. Okay, I'm going to put on I was 14 years old in this video. Okay. Okay. Six and a half hours later. So, it was this girl. We'll name her Mila. Well, let's start from the beginning. How I knew I liked girls. How did you know, Jamisha? How did you know you liked girls? Okay, so I was in sixth grade. So, probably around 10 or so, 10, 11, 10, 11, 12, around the, around the preteen age. So, I had this best friend. We're gonna name her Jade. I had this best friend named Jade. We were like really, really close, like inseparable close, okay? And so she didn't know back then, she didn't know she liked girls, but now she's gay. <laughs> Basically, put it like that. Back then, she didn't know she liked girls, but I knew I like, we weren't like a big super crush, but it was like a, a crush, you know, it was like, boom, I like you, but. She had a boyfriend at the time. Okay, she had a boyfriend. But we was like this. We always did everything together that was in school. We never really hung out outside of school, but whatever. So I told her I moved. I ended up moving my seventh grade year. Nothing in the middle of my sixth grade year. I ended up moving. And so we was like we were still super close. We would always text each other or whatever. We was like really, 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 really close. Until I told her I had a crush on her. I was like, 
I was like, hey, I've been having a crush on you for a little while. Like, I know I should have told you back when I was, um, back when we was in school together, but I couldn't. Because, y'all, believe it or not, back then, I was a little quiet little thing. And, well, not really quiet. I wasn't like quiet, because I got to fight that year. My fifth grade, sixth grade year, I got to fight. Let me just look her up. <laughs> but, <laughs> I was like, I couldn't go to anybody and tell them and tell them that I liked them. I, I couldn't. I didn't have the balls to. I did not have the balls to at all to be like, be my boo, be my boo, be my baby, be my forever. I didn't have that type of energy because I was a little scary. Like, but when it comes to drama, I was like, who wanna fight? Who wanna fight? Period. Period. Who wanna fight? Who wanna get pieced up real quick? A two piece real quick. I only got to one fight that year, y'all. But yeah. <laughs> so I ended up telling her over text and we never after I told her we just like stopped talking. Like eventually it came to the point that we just stopped talking. So I go back my eighth grade year. Do y'all know how awkward it was? And by then, she already had girlfriends by then. She already knew she was gay and she had a girlfriend. She had girlfriends back then. Do you know how awkward it was? Uh, I did not talk to her at all. I didn't. I mean, I used to hang around people she used to hang around. So, of course, it would be like a hey, hey, goodbye, goodbye type stuff. We were, it wasn't never no stuff how we used to be back in sixth grade when we were best friends. Yeah. So... <laughs> Anyways, to get to that point, it was this girl, her name is, we're going to name her Mila, okay? Her name was Mila, and she was so fine. Y'all, she was the, Woo she was so fine. And um, so, I did, I just, when I first came back, and so I didn't know anybody. I didn't know you know they, well, I knew of them because I came. That's my, that's my hometown. So I pretty much knew everybody, but I pretty much didn't talk to everybody. Like all people I used to talk to, I didn't really talk to them anymore. Or at least I was cordial with them. So it was this girl, Mila, and we had a class together. So I was really nervous. Cause at first I just sit there by myself, you know, conversating with everybody, but like not really, not how. I, yeah, I wasn't really like into it. I just be sitting at my desk and do my work, and that's that's all. So, Mila, 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 how did we start talking? <laughs> I honestly, I think, cause I used to have this one friend, and the one friend knew for they used to hang out. They was really close, and so I used to. Go talk to her, and I end up talking to Mila. And I didn't, y'all. Me and Mila talked for a while. Like it would be cordial. Cool like she would write notes. Like we would write notes to each other in class when we couldn't talk or whatever. And I used to be like so happy. I'd be like, oh, I might have a boo. I might have a girlfriend. What? Oh, good grief. Baby, dreams are meant to be when you're asleep. <laughs> I'm just playing. But no, we used to talk. And so eventually I gave her my kick. We gave, we had each other kick and we would talk after school. And mind you, I had this big dumb tablet, like dang near the size of my computer. It's a little bit smaller type tablet. So I couldn't bring no big tablet to school and be like, hey, this is what I text you off of. No, I want to do that. Everybody had phones. And I want no so I, would, I gave her my kick we started talking on kick and mind y'all this was she had a girlfriend I did not know she had a girlfriend I didn't know she had a girlfriend I'm like so oh my goodness y'all this is so this can get intense <clears throat> me and Mila would text and then she would always tell me hey Jamisha I got something to tell you and I would like what 
what is you gotta tell me and now i was dumb i'm not gonna lie i was dumb i used to talk to the girl she had a girlfriend i was really dumb but you know what kills me everybody i've been attracted to well not attracted to everybody that i they came to me i always had a girlfriend i eat amila i eat my baby daddy but i was there first so i don't really care i was there first boo you wasn't period <laughs> <laughs> well, but not really, because me and my baby daddy, it was kind of like, my baby daddy got, he used to have all the time, okay, he used to talk to a lot of girls, I want to say like I knew every girl he talked to, but in my, in, through my perspective, he had in high school, that's just me, I don't know. I never really asked him about that because I don't really want to know because I'm going to get mad and be like, why did you tell me? So, leave that topic alone. I'm not going to even get on it. But yeah, so Mila had a girlfriend. And I didn't know. Like, I would see them like hugged up. But you know, I'm like, okay, maybe that's her friend. But eventually, I caught on that she had a whole boot, a whole bait, a whole wife. And y'all, they lasted for a good, like, they broke up a lot. I yeah they broke up a lot but they lasted a good minute a good minute so me being dumb i would still talk to her and she was like to me i got something to tell you but i got a girlfriend i'm just like bro tell me tell me what you tell me tell me i don't, I don't care tell you me always tell me that she has something to tell me and i'm like me look tell me like we cool I'm not gonna get mad. We're super cool, girl. Like, we're just friends. Tell me what you need to say. Like, girl, tell me. But she never did. And low key, I think I already told her I had a crush on her already. Low key. I probably did. Like, hey, I got a crush on you. And me telling her I had a crush on her was just like stupid. I was dumb. I was dumber than a fox of mother rocks but you know yeah it was so crazy y'all mila so, had a girlfriend mila never told me what she meant to tell me but i think that was her way of keeping me around in all honesty i really do because i was like i told y'all i was really dumb back then and i was like I was really dumb back then. So, how did I come out to my mother? <laughs> so, I wrote this letter because I was nervous to talk to her about it because I didn't want to get pieced up, yo. I didn't want to get punched in the face. I didn't want to get pow pow. Pow pow pow. I didn't want to do that. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to just tell her, I'm going to just write it down. It'd be better if I write it down. So then, I'm going to still get two piece, but I wrote it down. I will waste some my time in writing it down. Because I'm still get two piece. Okay? <laughs> Y'all, that's how I thought back then. I'm not even going to hold you. That's how I thought. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get beat up. I'm going to get the worst whooping of my life. Because I like girls. Because I like females. So... So, I wrote it down in this long list. I was like, dear mom, I'm scared to tell you this in person, so I'm just going to tell you this on paper. I like this one girl. Her name is Mila, and we've been talking for a while, and I think I have a crush on her, and yeah, and I also had a crush on my old best friend. Jade, I don't know if I, yeah. we're gonna call her Jade. I had a crush on Jade back then, and so I think it, I think I'm coming to a conclusion to where I think I like females. I think that I am physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually attracted to females, mom. And I hope you can understand this. So if me and Mila start dating, it won't be no problems. 
y'all tell me how that sounds in the comments below on the scale of 1 to 10 tell me how dumb that sounds I said if me and Mila were to start dating boy boy so I wrote it down and so I waited a week because I was like really nervous I was like dog I'm finna die because I like girls I'm finna die so might as well just last week to live yellow finna die yellow <laughs> so after that so I waited a week and I gave it to my mom and I was like ma no I invited her into my room I was like ma I gotta tell you something and she was like what I was like I don't know how to say this but I gotta tell you something and I always say that a lot and she will eventually get mad and be like Mimi what the do you want me to tell me? Tell me what you need to tell me right now before I get mad. Tell me what you need to tell me right now before I get mad and beat you up. She said all that, but pretty much that was her attitude towards it. So I was like, okay. I was like, whoo, whoo. I gave her, I started reading the letter. Instead of me giving it to her like I thought I was, I started reading it. So there was no point of me writing it at all. <laughs> Dumb. Dumber than box of rocks. So I read it to her. I was like, Mom, yeah, I like girls. And so I was like, Whew. So after I kept after I read it to her, I just stared at her. I was like, you know, I was, I was shaking. I was like, Whoo. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. I said, I'm gonna die. I was I was dang there crying, y'all, because I was so nervous and I thought I was about to die. So I'm like, okay, this is my last moment. Peace. Do this. See you later. <laughs> so, um, she was like, okay. She was like, you're 14. You don't know what you like. And she was like, I'm not mad. You're just exploring. I don't really care. Just, it's like, she's like, just as long as you don't bring nobody toxic into your life. All that stuff. So I was like, oh. I was like, is that all you gotta say, mom? I was like, yo, when I say I was shocked, like shocked not even the word I was like amazed because I didn't die I did not die y'all I survived <laughs> somebody gave me a round of applause that I survived I'm telling my mom that I like girls <laughs> so she's like okay she's like is it all and I was like yeah she's like girl I don't care and so after that I told her about Mila and the whole Mila thing and she was like oh that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. So later on, me, Mila, me, well, me, Mila's girlfriend, and her best friend ended up getting into it. Eighth grade year. About, guess who, y'all? Guess who? Guess who? Guess who? Guess who? Let me tell y'all. About Mila. We got into it about that girl. Because I don't know how she found out that I was talking to her, but she did. And. We almost fought each other, but we didn't. Yeah. So that's pretty much my story about how I came out to my mom in eighth grade. And oh. Let's take y'all. Hope y'all like this video of me telling y'all that how I came out. I'm done with this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Tell your mom, subscribe, your dad, your sister, your brother, your auntie, your uncle. Peace. Love you. Love y'all. Double J King. Double J squad. Wait. Ah, double J squad. Double J squad about. I do not understand why I feel like I'm in heaven because you.